Dude, I'm so fucking salt about that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, definitely... Okay. Fucking... Rats. Dumb assholes. Definitely, um... Power Armor definitely was very realistic in that one. And I do think that... It makes sense for them to be the way they were, but... I don't know. It didn't really suit though. I didn't really use them. But guess that's just me. I just don't like how early they fucking give it to you. Yeah, I like never use the power armor. Oh, we. Ah, yes, same here. I totally agree. What a valid statement. Whatever you just said, Russian dude. I don't want to risk it. Dude, the fucking Gauss, Gauss rifle. Why did I say like Gauss? Fucking Gauss rifle. So busted.
Swan was pretty legit. Oh, come on. Yay. Not bad. Not bad at all. If I do say so myself. Fallout 2. <sighs> Let's do it. Loved everything about Fallout 4. I mean, it's... Like, you can't deny it was a fun game. I mean, well, obviously, fun is very subjective. But I thought it was a really fun game. Definitely not a traditional Fallout game. should be paying me money. Yeah, it was like, honestly, it was kind of like a, like a Borderlands game with Fallout like setting. There we go. I almost fucked that up. Two, three, four, five, six, six. Go down here. Oh, fuck. What's up, Orc Slayer? Says then. Oh, come on. Two in a row. Dick wipes. Please have all my shit. I shouldn't call it my shit. Please have a lot of shit. Do 
two bombs, super stims. Ooh, good so far. Thanks, Natty. All I saw was good luck with the run. I didn't get to read the rest because I had to look back at my uh, my game. <laughs> Hopefully I get through Fallout 2, I agree. Almost got through it earlier, but I fucked up because I'm a mongoloid. Alright, that was really fucking good. That was like a really fucking good RNG for the vendor. Only took one one re-roll and he had everything. That's pretty fucking lucky. God damn it. Not bad. Ken Lee hit for 48. That's pretty good. Kill him, please. Nope, not dead. Good thing I planted three bombs. What? There we go. I mainly played with like McCready. I mean, I played with all the companions for a little bit of time. Fallout 3 has an age. Well, I don't know. Fallout 3 and New Vegas are like two games I could always fucking go back and play no matter what.
Deacon in silver shroud gear? That actually seems like in character for him. The silver shroud quest line was a bit silly, but I mean, what's Fallout without like some silly uh, quest lines, you know? That's the thing about Fallout is it has like a really fucking twisted and weird, just out there sense of humor most of the time. Not most of the time, some of the time. Mothership Zeta was pretty weird. Alright, please don't take like five tries. Oh, God damn it. Don't kill me. I swear to fucking god, dragging the shit and then dropping it in the middle and then trying to do it again fucking helps. I swear. Yeah, Old World Blues was the DLC that had like the 45 minute dialogue at the start. Big MT, the big MT. I thought that was a, I thought that was pretty cool. Obsidian's pretty fucking good. Um, thank you. Excuse me? I'm not sure if it was Obsidian themselves who made Fallout 2, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people who went on to like form Obsidian made Fallout 2. Or something like that. Dude, fucking Dima's memories. As fucking stupid as that part was, I kind of like doing it in the uh, 
in the speed run of Far Harbor. I don't know why, but I really enjoy that part of Far Harbor as a run. It's fucking retarded, but I love it. Get down, do you cunt. A proof of proof of mental disorder that I fucking like that part. Dude, you can't deny I'm a fucking boss at that game. At the uh, Dima mini game. Oh, so easy. Bum 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 bum. Plus, I like the fact we only have to do the first level. If we had to do more than one level, I, it would be fucking terrible. How do you miss? Look how fucking enormous that dude is. Oregon is. Is that it? Yeah. Nice. BB. Well, that's a uh, that's actually a PB for Fallout 2. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna reset the game real quick. Actually, no, I'm not going to. We're just gonna go. I just don't, I just really don't want to soft lock the party. Because I've been doing that a lot lately. Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. Daddy. I'll be back in a bit. Daddy. You soft lock the party by just quick saving, quick loading in, in a inappropriate manner. So I'm gonna do it the safe way. There we go. That was kind of bad. I I'm I'm like really feeling the cliff cripple at the moment. What are you doing down? Are you ready for your surprise? Hey. Shoot the target, okay? That's not a boy. Okay. I like how that one missed. Good work. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Just aim and shoot. I love how you get to hear the birds and the bees part. Alright, so, Fallout 3, you'll see my screen whenever I, it flashes black like that. It's because I'm doing making a quick save and then quick loading like that. Oh, no. I just skipped a, uh, a line of dialogue with him. We use it to skip dialogue lines and also use it to clip through walls like that. Um, so yeah, every time it flashes black, it's because I'm quick loading, and when it's used to like cheese the game. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a glitch coming up called Speed Cripple, which um, Speed Cripple is where you make a quick save cripple your legs and quick load at the same time um, and typically when you're crippled and then you load the game heals you and adds a hundred like it has oh shit no that's not what I want to do it adds 60% movement speed because like it brings you down to 40 when you're crippled or some shit like that so it adds 60 but if you load before the game actually um, 
takes away the move speed, but you're still crippled, then you move at like 160% move speed. Um, sometimes you have to reset it. Those are my windows noise, not yours. There's two forms of speed cripple, breakable and unbreakable. Breakable is where you lose it after a quick save quick load, which is what I kept getting. And then there's unbreakable where it persists through. Oh my god, it persists through loads. So I have like 2 minutes 50 seconds to spare for Fallout 3, so I'm going to keep doing this. We're going to keep going for it. There we go. I didn't need to I didn't need to do that. Quick saving, quick loading, you'll also see this in New Vegas if we get to it. Um quick saving, quick loading is also used to break. Whenever you load, you like start with zero momentum. So you can be falling off a giant cliff, quick save, quick load right before you hit the ground and then land on the ground fine without taking any damage. Um So I that's what we do a lot in this game. Mostly in New Vegas we do it with reload dashing, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, do you do this in Fallout 4? No. This only works in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Thank God it doesn't work in Fallout 4. Just because speed cripples kind of cancer, so. Um, right now, I'm running to the Citadel. Because since we're in the area, we're going to discover the fast travel point so that we can come back to it later. Um, and we're going to pretty much like flip, not out of bounds, we're not going to be out of bounds of the map, but we're going to be in an, like inside buildings and shit like that. Because if you're out of bounds, then you're like outside of the map boundary. And yeah, we don't do that. I guess it was nothing. But I'm going to clip through this building right here by quick save, quick loading. There we go. Um, yeah. I'm gonna just keep going. And I'm gonna discover the citadel up here and then fast travel. And now we're going to run to Little Lamplight. Um, and then once we get to Little Lamplight, we're going to clip out of bounds and then clip out of bounds again. Not again, again. We're going to clip out of bounds again. Um, and then we're going to enter Vault 87 or Murder Pass and then Vault 87. Once I get to Vault 87, um, I do a lot of clips in a row and it's like, it's a lot to focus on, so I'm not going to really talk while I'm in Vault 87 just because I need to focus. Because um, it's like really easy to fuck up. And there's you get chased by a bunch of super mutants. I guess it was but, um, so once we get into Little Lamplight, we're going to clip through a wall. And then we're going to COC, which is like center on cell. It's when you fall out of bounds. It's where the game falls, like spawns you in. That's called COCing. We're going to COC in this one spot. 
and then we're going to flip out again and we'll like there's water out of bounds and when we're out of bounds in the water um like you can like the water there's like an end to it but if you swim out into the void and then make a quick save if you keep walking out into the void you're you're gonna fall all the way out in coc um if you make a quick save out in the void though and then go back into the water and swim underwater so you get like the oxygen meter or whatever and then quick load then you're able to like swim in the void infinitely uh, we're going to use that to enter murder pass or trigger the murder pass door and you'll see me quick saving a lot it's because if the game likes to crash if you quit to the main menu or the game closes then you lose your speed cripple so i'm making quick saves so that if my game does crash then I can load the save I made on top of the cliff, get speed cripple again, and then quick load, or like make this, load this quick load. I would, okay, so if the game crashed, I would load the quick save, make a hard save, load the save on top of the cliff, then get speed cripple, and then I would just pull up the menu and then load my save here, so that I now have speed cripple here, because speed cripple only breaks if you go to the main menu or you quit the game. And because we only go to like the the escape menu, um, then we don't lose speed cripple. So yeah, speed cripple's funny. It's a weird thing. Uh, if my legs get crippled at all, then I lose my speed cripple. And there's gonna be a super mutant up around this corner, and he has a chance of trying to throw a grenade at us and yell, "Hot potato." Oh, I didn't yell hot potato, but he tried throwing the grenade at me. But if if he has his grenade out and you get within a certain range of him, he stops trying to throw it. Do people do elder throw elder scrolls? No, not really. Um, I mean, Chops did like one run, and then Puri Puri used to do runs, but he's kind of he doesn't do runs anymore, I think. But like, people don't really do them actively, but but they've been done in the past. So there we go, clip out of bounds. There we go, clip out of bounds again. Quick save in the void, swim underwater, quick load, and now I can swim infinitely into the void. Oh, he quit Twitch? That's a bummer. So now we're in Murder Pass, and yeah, this is where the game gets real. This is like, it's the hardest part of the run, but it's definitely the most fun. Because we do a lot of, um, like a lot of flips coming up. Pretty much our goal is to get to the Gek and get the Gek.
You're able to grab the Gek through a wall without actually activating the thing if you go into third person. Because the interaction camera is like off your body in third person and you're able to like twist it into walls and shit. And before I get the uh, the weird dialogue skip again. Objective is secured, sir. Damn. Well, it's a good thing I didn't, because then the run wouldn't really count. Because it wouldn't be a valid Fallout 3 run. Excuse me. Sir, I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. Alright, so now it's Raven Rock. Raven Rock is very similar to, uh... Find the reason it happens. I'll try. So, you're... Raven Rock is just a series of clips similar to the vault. Again, I'm right here. I'm just skipping dialogue. I'd like You'll find your and I'll flip out. Now we're just gonna run through Raven Rock. Retreating. Retreating. Fall back to regroup. Fall back to regroup. Go through these guys, go past them. They can block your way so you can quick save, quick flip through them. Maybe do this clip. Nah, this is a pretty hard clip. Um, if you don't get it, there we go. If you don't get it, you just have to wait for uh, those guys to kill the enclaves, or the enclave whatever's to die. No, we don't play in a different language for Fallout 3. Has anyone actually ever tested like different length or like different language speeds for that autumn thing? I think we're probably going to lose a little bit of time in this split. Oh, they have. I'm guessing English is the fastest one. Oh, Japanese is the fastest. Why doesn't everyone play in Japanese then? Dude, I want to fucking play on Japanese. That'd be fucking bangers. Oh, damn. Never mind. That would be so cool. Do you know how much faster it is or no? Damn. Dude, free couple seconds. Alright, so I'm definitely going to lose time on this split, for as in Fallout 3 as a whole. But that's not a big deal. We have a lot of time to gain in Fallout New Vegas. Come on. There we go. You... Alright, 12 seconds lost is not bad at all. Like, that's actually not bad. Alright, let's go on to New Vegas. Alright, so New Vegas, we do a glitch called Reload Dashing. Um...
Kung correct me if I fuck up anything while I'm explaining it. Pretty much, if you swap ammo, there's different ammo types in New Vegas, and if you swap ammo types with a gun that has a one at a time reload animation, like a revolver, um, then, like, so you swap the ammo, and then while the ammo is swapping, you cancel the animation and then unequip the gun by going into the pit boy and you hold a W the entire time you're in the pit boy unequipping it, the game, like, keeps, um, pretty much, oh, oh fuck, What's, how do I word this? The game pretty much, like, keeps reading that you're moving forward and holding W while you're unequipping the gun, and then when you bring down your pit boy, you just shoot forward. So you'll see. You just, you shoot forward a lot. And then similar in this game, quick save, quick load, just clip through some things and skip a couple lines of dialogue. We were only really quick save, quick load in like three, two spots. Okay, so what Kung just said. Yeah, it's like you pressurize W and really. It's like if you guys have ever seen Wind Waker speedruns, how you dash, like they have the item thing in the HD version. It's kind of like the same idea. Vieni con me, ti accompagno fuori. Ecco, questa è Much better than Speed Cripple. Devi essere quello che stava. È un piacere. Sit in the bucket. So that's reload dashing. So pretty much I'm going to the strip right away, but um I'm Hitting a couple spots along the way, just so I have fast travel points. The first is a uh, hidden valley right here. We do this so that we can come back and meet up with the Brotherhood later on. And then the second one is Black Mountain Radio, which is coming up. We do that. I should mention that um, Reload Dash doesn't work if you're speed crippled. Or maybe it does, but only sideways. So it's not worth it to go for speed cripple. Reload dashing is much faster. So if like you're crippled at all, it doesn't work. So that's why I had like I reloaded my quick save when I got crippled. I talked to Sunny Smiles at the Prospector Saloon. So Black Mountain we get because um, later on we have to power up the substation that's to my right right now, um, and it's like really close to it so and in order to get into the strip we um we ride a monorail or we ride the monorail but instead of like going through camp mccarran or whatever however you get to it you um you'll see how we do it how we get to it that was a pretty good dash brought me right to it That was bad. Let me back up a little more. 
There we go. Flip through the wall real quick. Um, so we're going to side with Yes Man. Like, we're doing the Yes Man ending. And in order to do the Yes Man ending, you need to, like, pretty much pass judgment on um, all the tribes. And in order to pass judgment, you have to actually meet them. So we have to go and uh, talk to all of them. At, like Or, like, m pretty much meet the game's criteria of meeting them. And for, like, since we're by the White Glove Society right now, uh, we're going to talk to them right now, and we're going to talk to my babe, Ortimer, Mortimer, like the most handsome man in the game. We're just going to say goodbye, and that's enough to qualify as meeting them. How precise are all these angles? Not very. Um, and now we're going to meet up with Benny. Um, hey, and Batman. in order to like get to Yes Man, we have to go through Benny. Um, and the fastest way to get to Yes Man is to just kill Benny. We used to uh, choose to be a girl, and then we would get Black Widow, and then we would just have sex with Benny and kill him in his sleep. But we don't do that anymore. Um, we do this now. This is really. Oh, like a week old now, this strat. It's like a decent amount. It's like, I think it's like eight seconds faster at least to do this. Can we talk to Yes Man? Um, and now we leave and we go meet all the tribes. And I do a wait there. Because when I wait, what it does is... So all of Benny's goons are like aggro to us right now. Um, by waiting like that, they spawn behind me. And they won't block my way when I try to dash through the hallway there. And it also makes it so that this dude who's outside doesn't flee and we need to talk to him later on. So it just makes it so that it saves like a couple seconds just to do that then, as opposed to uh, wait for him later. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna 360. Oh, maybe I will 360. How? Huh? We'll see. I haven't decided yet. It's about so it's like the the gun strat is like 10 seconds faster than fucking Benny. There you go. That was the best I could do. That's the fastest I could turn. <laughs> there you go. I hope you're happy. So this dude who's going to talk to us right when we exit is the guy who, uh, hey, this cool. guy. Oh, man. He's the one who flees if we don't wait inside after killing Benny. And right now we need to meet the, uh, I forget what they're called, the Gamoras. Or no, not the Omertas. They live in the Gamora. We need to meet the Omertas. Um, and all we have to do is walk and say goodbye to them. Uh, now we're going to go meet all the other tribes. Game just crashed.
This uh, crashing in New Vegas is a common occurrence. So, yeah, Salt Boy. That's my sub emote for those who are unaware. Salt Boy. It's the Vault Boy holding a salt shaker. It's perfect. No, I'm not going to go that way. I've never gone that way before. I'm not going to start now. Plus, that was a really good dash, though. I have to be on this side of the fence in order for them to be able to talk to me. Unless, like, I somehow land on the other side of the fence after I had, like, triggered him to run up to me, which I've done a couple times. So now I just met the Boomers. The Boomers are a tribe, so I had to meet with them. Um, but now we're going to go meet the Brotherhood. Um, in order to meet the Brotherhood, all we have to do is, like, you'll see. Alright, we've met the Brotherhood. We can now pass judgment on them with Yes Man. Uh, now we gotta go meet the Great Cons, but for the Great Cons, we don't actually have to, like, talk with anyone. We just have to enter Red Rock Cav Canyon or whatever it's called. I think it's Red Rock Canyon. And pretty much just stand in the center of it for a couple seconds and then leave. And that's considered meeting the Great Cons. Red Rock Canyon? Okay, I was right. Sometimes this game, after you quick save, there's like a short, like the game drops a couple frames, which means it's dropping my input up time, um, an hour, 55 minutes. Ice Frog, please. Make Anthology easier and easier to get full runs going. Thank you. Good old Frozen Toad. Nah, that's how, that's how you do commands in my chat. There's a lot of supported commands. So now we tell Yes Man, hey, we met everyone, let them all live. Meet me at the Lucky 38. And he's like, okay. And he goes, wow. Now we're going to go pretty much upload yes. Yes, man. Oh, game crashed. Okay. Story. Oh, fuck. I don't. I'm not sure if I want to tell a story right now. The sushi story. Oh. That sounds really tempting. Maybe during Fallout 4. I don't have to explain as much during Fallout 4, so. Plus, there's more downtime. Yeah, I got a PB in Fallout 2. So that was pretty cool. Brongle is my boy. Brongle, a.k.a. the Brongmeister, the former world record holder of House of Caravan. Sky Daddy? Sky Daddy is Fidley's name for God. Wait, was it Fidley who said Sky Daddy? It was you, right? Oh yeah, and he held the world record on Automatron DLC in Fallout 4 for like a day. And then same with Sex Percent. 
finalmente dei soldati degni di proteggere. Spero che... So for my job this summer, I work at a camp, um, and because I work at a camp, I'm not home for like a week at a time. So Brongo likes to come up with new strats for some runs, and then I'm like pretty much do a run with the strat and like easily beat my record with the new strat while I'm not able to break it. So he's held a couple of the records in Fallout 4 for a short time. But not any percent. Really? I find that surprising because I'm terrible with names. Anyone who's been around my stream a decent amount can attest to the fact that I butcher names all the time. Didn't I call you China? <laughs> um, game just crashed. I know that is an iconic place to crash. Maybe we get the explosion skip because of it. Yep, we did. <laughs> Somehow got launched up. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a real nice time save. That's an okay spot, right? Wait, did I die? Yeah, I died. Because of fall damage. Alright, I'm kind of high up in the air. But it's not too high, so it should be good. We should be fine. Caesar if you're like super high up in the air, he's not able to talk to you the second time, but I think we're low enough. Imagino yeah. Que no sea un Hai fatto un super lavoro a all right. Going into Fallout 4 now. Um, let me do one thing real quick. Don't, don't choke. I'll try not to. Um, there, there. All right, Fallout 4.
So, you just ate tacos. Nice. Um, for those of you... Oh my god, I have to get used to my mouse real quick. Alright. For those of you who don't know about me, Fallout 4 is kind of my game. I kind of am good at Fallout 4. La guerre ne meurt jamais. Tu vas les épater ce soir à la réunion des vétérans. Tu crois Évidemment. Maintenant, arrête de t'admirer et file te préparer. Bien. À mon tour, mon grand. Gotta play with my desired presets, though. Fais-moi un peu de place. Merci, Cotsworth. Bien sûr, monsieur. Got the rad MC speed. Rad mix speed. I'm gonna guess that's what you meant. Yes. Um, so Fallout 4 is a peculiar game because there's... I would, I would argue it's the most broken of all the Fallout speedruns, yet it's the slowest by far. Like, it's, it's obviously the slowest by far because the run's like... Hey, that's worse. 40, 43, 44 minutes. Um, but it's like by far the most broken of the games. But we can't sequence break it like the others. But it has like the most crazy glitches. Not, maybe not crazy. But, um, what, like it has the most glitches and like just weird shit. Like, oui. I feel like the other games don't have Société nearly de as de many de glitches, de that, de but de they can be de more de easily de utilized de in a speed run compared oh, to Fallout 4. D'accord, j'accepte. Merci encore. So I did ah, 10 intelligence, or not 10 intelligence. I put 10 into agility and endurance because those are those are the two stats that directly influence how far and how long hey, I can walk worse. for or sprint for. And obviously sprinting is more um, sprinting is faster, so we want to sprint for longer. And I dumped the rest into intelligence because intelligence uh, makes it so you get more XP so we can level up faster. And that means that we can get more perks that help us go faster. Also, you'll notice, so the past three games, we've limited our FPS to 60. Uh, you can see that in the top right corner. It's, like, really important to do that in this game, um, because this game, like, runs a lot faster at higher FPSs. So someone with like a, suit, like a fucking fantastic computer would have a big edge over everyone, so we have to limit the FPS to 60. Uh, it's in the rules so that everything is even for everyone. Um, and we're allowed to lower our FPS during one certain type of glitch that I'll talk about in a bit. Just because it makes it more consistent. Also, here from YouTube, nice, welcome. We're on a pretty good anthology right now. You might have noticed that Fallout New Vegas was in Italian. That's because Fallout New Vegas is four seconds faster in Italian than in English. And the difference is like, it's strictly Doc's opening dialogue because that's the only unskippable dialogue in New Vegas. Um, in this game, there's a bit more unskippable dialogue, and we play in French because it's like 11 seconds faster than English. Three forty-four. that's a pretty good enter vault time. We're on a, like, I mean, it's a long run, and it doesn't really matter how you do on the first split, so. But I have, like, 
I kind of have my splits memory. Like, I've done this run so many times. When you do a speed run a lot, like Kung is the same way for Fallout 3, and so is Swags. Um, like, if you do a run a lot, you like get to the point where you're like, oh yeah, that's a good split for that time. I'm like, oh shit, I'm like 10 seconds behind my PB. Like, you get to know your splits really well after doing the game a lot. So I've done this one a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> Um, we're coming up to the first unskippable dialogue where we just do nothing for two minutes. Yeah, pseudo splits. So if you've never seen me run Fallout 4, this is what I do during all the cutscenes. We play Pokemon at like a thousand times speed. Oh fuck, okay. I have to try and remember where I... Did I already do this part? Yeah, I did this part. Wait, that's where I just was. Wait. Okay, I have to go to the fourth floor. Yeah, I also, I as well, I do not have splits at those parts, but I like, I do check my time at those parts. Do it, Jin. Oh, great, Jin got poisoned. Sand Slash. Wait, why would I do that? Um, one second, I need to pull up one thing before I do anything else. <laughs> Stepped on a snare. Um, so at work... Oh, fuck, never mind. Can't look at that. At work, so I work at a summer camp for kids. Um, and this one girl... She um, hit a dead snake in order to throw it at camp staff next time she was like, we call it going into crisis. Oh, I got the self scope. She pretty much hit a dead snake so that she could throw it at us next time she like didn't want to do a chore. So that was cool. We found out about it and I had to go throw the dead snake away. So that was cool. All right, we got the sylph scope. We're ready to kill all the ghost packer moons. So, um, yeah, no, it's not a, that snakes aren't that bad. Make her eat the snake, that should have been, we should have done that. Um, so you'll see me using cones here like to call them VLC clips. You use the cones to pretty much, I look down and use them to push me over walls um, and into rooms that I don't have to walk into now because it's faster to do this. Good old VLC clips. Prob never owned a snake. I never, I, Never owned a snake, but I almost did at one point. Come on. Come on. There we go. So this is a pretty good start. Um, okay, so watch this. Whoa, how did I slingshot back? Well, that's called a cover slide. If you aim around an object and then enter third person at the same time as leaving the cover, so you stop aiming and enter third person at the same exact moment, the game remembers where you were standing. 
So now the game thinks that I'm right there. So the next time that I pull out my gun, while I'm in first person, I can slingshot it back to there. But what if I do it when I'm up there? How does that work? Well, I get slingshotted to, uh, I get slingshotted, like, to the equivalent of that position, but in the new area. So I use it to slide to Concord. So now I'm going to go and trigger my cover slide. It's called the cover slide, by the way. Kunga owes a snake? I, honestly, that does not surprise me. So that's a cover slide. I'm now sliding towards Concord. And we discovered Sanctuary along the way, which is A+. Plus. That's very good. So now I'm going to, like, clear out the Museum of Freedom, but I'm not going to actually, like, go through with the Deathclaw fight. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple pipe pistols here because they're good for clipping. Oh, that, that dude also had... Oh, that's not a pipe pistol. Minuteman outfit. That's, like, random if it spawns, and if it does, you grab it because it gives you endurance. Yeah, Pipe Pistols and Knuckles, the new Sonic game. Boy. Buff Out is excellent because it gives us endurance. Don't need Psycho. Where the fuck did you go? Set up another cover slide. You can go out this way. So we're not going to fight the Death Claw. We're just going to leave the Minutemen here. going to cover slide. So the game thinks that you're in first person whenever you have the Pip-Boy up, because technically you are. Um, so we can actually break up the cover slide into chunks and go further if we go into third person and take our gun out and then tab in and out of, uh, tab in and out of the Pip-Boy real quick. So that's what I did was I went into third person, took out my gun and then tabbed in and out of the Pip-Boy real quick. So it uses the cover slide in like chunks. Have my children. So that cover slide is like not too great. I mean, it's not bad. Um, eh. It's passable. But we leave the power armor in that spot because. It's right in front of, um, that's like pretty much where we spawn in when we fast travel to green tech. So if we fast travel to there later to grab the power armor, we can just press E while we're loading in. And, um, we just press E while we're loading in. And we can enter it while we load in. And right here, so I entered the sewer and I was underwater. Um... And if you load a save while you're underwater, you load in at the top of the water. But because 
the top of water is out of bounds. I spawn out of bounds and I swim over here <sighs> and I like fall in a specific spot and I'm now going to get the nuclear option, which is like the last quest in the game. So I now have the nuclear option, which is the last quest in the game. It'll pop up once I leave. Um, also, keep it. Remember the fact that we have a save there because we're gonna use we're gonna load warp that save later on. So see, I now have the nuclear option. So now we're going to go and pretty much buy a bunch of shit. Um, and we don't really have any caps. So we're going to use what's called, well, we just call it the vendor glitch. Um, it pretty much gives us infinite store credit. I'm not really going to break down how I do it because it's really like you could just like Google vendor glitch Fallout 4 and it'll come up, but it's only available on the first patch. Yeah, I'm going to be sure to buy all the mines and shit. I'm going to buy a bunch of random shit. I'll do over what I bought, why after I buy everything and leave. But I, I just need to like pay attention to what I'm doing right here. Excusez-moi. Oh, un nouveau visa. Voyons ce que vous avez là. Cash ou troc, c'est vous. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so yeah, now I have a bunch of shit. Um, let me bind everything and I'll go over what I bought in mine. All right, so I bought rad. Okay, so let's see. Let's start from the beginning. Did the vendor glitch, and then I immediately went over to junk, and I bought a biometric scanner. It's like, it's like a 50-50. I don't, you know, I don't know the exact odds. None of us have ever looked it up in the creation kit. But it's like a 50-50 chance that she'll have it. Um, and we need one to complete the run, because we need it to build the teleporter at the end. So if she has it, it's good. Otherwise, we have to farm it off of turrets at the end of the run. Um. Then I went over to aid and I bought bourbon and buff out because both increased my endurance. Um, and I'm doing a running segment right now, which it's like, it's good to have more endurance. Um, and then I went over and I bought destroyer's left leg, which increases our move speed by 10%. And I bought destroyer's chest piece, which reduces damage taken by a human by like 10%, something like that, which that one's not necessary, but it's nice to have. Um, and then I went over and bought frag mines. Uh, or a frag mine, because frag mines are required for a glitch that we're going to be doing called punch warping. Um, so we're going to do one more VLC clip. I'm not going to touch the cars. These cars can kill me. I do play on a laptop, yeah, but most people play on actual computers. I get made fun of. But hey, I go fast. Um... Okay, so, yeah, and then I bought a frag mine because I'm going to be doing a glitch later on called Punch Warping, and it needs frag mine. Um, so now I'm going to try and think something out in my head. Um, mine to set up, frag grenade to trigger. Um, fuck. Mine to set up, mine to set up, mine to trigger, mine to set up, grenade to trigger. Yeah, okay, I'm good. I just have to make sure to grab the frag grenade in the... Uh... No, I do deserve to get me a of. <laughs> I just need to be sure to grab the frag grenade in... Uh... Yeah, I know it's always going to be mine. But that's just how I do it in my head. 
Um, I'm going to be sure to grab the mine in green tech. Or not mine, frag. Uh, in green tech. Alright, so should I tell a story? We have about like four minutes of me just running. What kind of story should I tell? Yeah, I run on the lowest settings. Just, I could run it on higher settings, but run it on lower settings just because it helps the game run fast, like run at 60 FPS so I can run the fastest for the game. I feel like, like, I don't know, run kind of is optimized, or not the run, um, the game kind of is well, I would say it's well optimized on PC. Pretty sure Tommy played, yeah, I play at a lower resolution. What is my laptop? Um, I could tell you later, I don't, I don't know exactly which one it is right now. A love story, why I decided to run Fallout 4, and the sushi story, alright, we got three options. I love story. I can't really do much. I can't really do much in terms of that for you. Um, so yeah, specs is. Thank you, Jin. Um, why did I decide to run Fallout Four? Is kind of an interesting, not really interesting, but um, I watched speedrunning for a long time. Um, like I started watching speedrunning like back 2011 ish. Um, and I watched, like, I used to watch a lot of Siglemic and a lot of Cosmo back in the day. Like, a lot. Um, mainly I would watch Cosmo Wind Waker, but eventually I started watching him Ocarina. Um, and, like, speedrunning always interests me, and, like, I'm the most fucking competitive person I know, and it's, like, to a fault. I've only met one person ever who's, like, I was in a relationship with a chick who was, like, almost as competitive as me, and that was really interesting, but I'm, like, a really fucking competitive person, and I, like, can't live without some sort of competition in my life, and for a while, like, I played a lot of Dota, because that met, met my itch, because it's, like, hard to, pretty much my friend group at, uh, at college like, is not very active. So I can't go out and play sports with them. So I played a lot of Dota to meet my competitive itch. Um, whenever I'm home, like and all my friends were home, we would always play basketball and shit like that. Um, but I just needed my competitive itch met. And Dota was like fucking sickening me. It was it just getting so cancer. Um, and I realized, oh shit, AGDQ 2017 is starting up. And I haven't watched speedrunning in a while like i'd watched all the gdq since like 2012 i was like i hadn't watched speedrunning in a while so let me watch this gdq let me see what i've been missing for a while and i watched it i'm like oh this is fucking fantastic i really want to do this i really want to speedrun a game like dota i just need a break from dota and i need something really competitive to do and i started like searching all my like my steam library and everything to try and find a game and I couldn't find one. And I wanted a game that was like, not super short, like not like 20 minutes. Um, something that was like a little longer, but nothing more than like, nothing absurdly over an hour. Um, and like, there were a couple games in my Steam library that I was like, eh, maybe. Um, and I like went through, I'm 21 by the way. Yeah, no, I'm 13, I'm 21. I'm going into my senior year of college this year. Um, I was like, oh, I should, like, I was going through all these games, and I kept passing over Fallout 4, I'm like, I don't want to speedrun any of these. Like, all of these sounds really stupid. And I was finally like, okay, I should just run at least one of them once. So I picked, um, I just, like, picked Fallout 4, because it had a tutorial online by Bubbles. I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. And my first run went, was a 102, which in hindsight, that was a really good first run. Um, and I was happy with it. And I was like, but I could do better. And I just kept grinding it down and grinding it down. I started to really, 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 really like it. So yeah. My voice is too good. I fucking hate my voice. 
sushi anal. Oh, that's an interesting story. Um, for those of you unaware, I t I won't tell the full story. Um, the gist of it, there was this chick I was talking to for a while, and, um, you know, like, you know, we were getting active, and she and I were talking about some like what we wanted to do before we die, and this chick was like, well. I've always wanted to try sushi and anal. And I responded with like, well, I don't like sushi. So, and that led, one thing led to another. Um, and her butthole smelled really bad. And I backed out. So, yeah. Who the fuck puts sushi on their bucket list, though? Like, are you fucking kidding me? This was a really good cover slide. Like, really, f really fucking good. Um, <laughs> yeah, what even is hygiene? No, I couldn't smell it from a distance, but like once we, well, mmm, mmm, like she definitely didn't wipe well. Like, it was just bad. It was just bad. So yeah. That was really fucking ballsy because I wasn't paying attention. Where am I from? I'm from Midwestern America. I, I couldn't, I didn't see if there were shit marks on her underpants, but like she definitely didn't clean her butt. <laughs> like, holy fuck. <laughs> um, okay, so I just did a load warp. Um, a load warp is where you make a quick save, load an old save, enter an area, and then you quick load while you're entering an area in the old save so the screen will fade to black. You do that. And you maintain progress. You like stay the character from the quick save, but you're in the area from where you made the like made the load. So I just set up a punch work. Dude, after, after that experience, I, like, fucking scrub my asshole. <laughs> like, wow, was that a humbling experience. I fucking saw God's light in that moment. Um, okay, so I set up a punch warp. A punch warp is where you try to melee something in vats, but actually going through with the melee attack would put you inside of an item or out of bounds. So the game says, hey, you can't do that. And it stores your location just like a cover slide. And it's similar to a cover slide, except next time I try to melee something in VATS, I just get teleported to the location instead of, like, sliding. So it, it has its pros and cons. It would seem that it's ideal to always teleport, but it's not. Sometimes you want to slide through locations. Vous aviez raison, Nick. Qu'est-ce que ça okay. 
Il faut que je trouve un moyen. C'est tout à fait. Mmh. Quelle heure C'est vrai. Il pouvait sûrement entrer. Ouais. Il est mort, Nick. Se fait éclater la. J'espère que. Yeah, that girl just didn't have good hygiene. En fait, I should have seen. Je crois que I should have seen the signs earlier. Uh -huh. That chick was fucking weirdo. Uh -huh. I don't go outside, I don't need hygiene. So I just load warped again, by the way. Yeah, exactly. She might watch the stream and murder you? No. It's funny though. So... I didn't fucking tell anyone about this story until like about like six months after this happened like a year and a half ago. Was she even hot though? Yeah. Yeah. Ça va, mon pote? Honestly, hottest chick I'll probably ever be with. <laughs> La confrérie de l'acier a intérêt de pas s'approcher de lui. Um But like I didn't tell anyone this story. Like, not even my best guy friends until like six months after it happened. When I get a text from her out of nowhere, because I like fucking stop talking to her after that happened. I like fucking noped out. I'm like, uh -uh. Um, hold on. I'll tell the story once I get inside. Merci beaucoup, Nick. I just set up another punch warp. <clears throat> she was just a really weird girl. I did not tell her. Um, well, yes and no. Yes and no. What? Ah, Marie. On ne peut pas accéder aux souvenirs de cet implant. Ils sont. Uh -huh. Dites-moi que vous avez une solution. Laissez-moi. Oh, ah. peut... D'accord. Allons-y. Asseyez. Bien. Bon, eh bien, rendez-vous. Ciao. Mon... <coughs> Holy fuck, Nick! I don't think she got downed. Do you know how fucking swag that would have been? If I had waited an extra second? Okay, um, trying to think. So, like, six months, like, I fucking stopped talking to this chick, right? I'm like, I don't want anything to do with her. Like, it wasn't just the whole she doesn't wipe thing. It was, there was a lot about her that just, like, I no. Um. Anyways, like six months go by, and she randomly texts me, um, and she says, "Who is this? I have your contact saved in my phone as head ass, but I can't remember who you are." I fucking thought that was hilarious, so I screenshotted it and sent it to all my buddies in my group me. <laughs> they all thought it was hilarious, but they're like, "Dude, what the fuck did you do?" So I told them, and that was the first time I ever told them the story, and we now call it the almost anal story. But, um, she, um, I, like, I went in full detail with that, but she's like, who is this? And <laughs> all I did was I started sending her instructional Microsoft Paint-like pictures I found online of how to wipe your butt. It was so funny. I have 
the pictures of the entire conversation on my phone. I really, I should probably like, that's something I feel like I should probably put into my Discord. By the way, shameless plug, shameful plug, I actually don't like plugging. How mad was she? Livid. Shameful plug. Scroll down. Follow me on Twitter. Scroll down. Join my Discord. As an incentive, I'll actually post the conversation between me and her on the Discord. The text conversation. Because it was fucking hilarious at the time. I'll do that later today. I'll post the Discord conversation between her and I. Or not the Discord conversation. I'll post the picture in my Discord. So scroll down and click on Discord and you'll join my Discord server. Fuck yeah, dude. Jabo told me I should make one, so I did. I forgot to heal. Oh, wait, why did I... Fuck. Sorry, Havard. Oh, wait, it doesn't affect. I forgot. Whoa, wait, what? There we go. C'est-à-dire C'est un traître. Il s'agit du docteur Brian Virgil. On sait qu'il se cache quelque part dans la mer du Nessie. There we go. Voilà son dossier. Merde, il y a des têtes qui vont tomber. Je le capture et le ramène ou je l'élimine Hold on, I'm focusing on Pokemon. Il travaillait sur un projet classé top secret. Sans blague. Une des grosses têtes de bioscience Merde. Bon, je suppose que tu vas ramener le gamin. Affirmatif. Dude, not the biggest meme ever. Actually, it is. It's amazing. It's such an amazing meme. Oui. Viens à côté de moi et ne bouge pas. D'accord. I feel like Kev isn't gonna do too hot against all these fucks. Thank you for the the one bit. I appreciate that, Brongo. My top donator. Salut. Oh shit. Beat a Brongo, he says. Oh shit. Are you even trying? Allez-y doucement, d'accord? Je ne sais pas quels effets ce bon. Fuck, wrong one. Loaded the wrong save, but that's okay. I have no bits left. <laughs> Best I can do is four. So I just load warped again. <sighs> Brongle won. GG. Congrats, Brong. Congrats to the Brong Meister. So Virgil is kind of a cunt and he likes to lock up. So I quick save after I say everything so that not only will he lock up sometimes, sometimes he'll like actually reset the conversation. What do you win? Ooh. That's a good question. Ouais, un bon paquet. Oh yeah, that's what you win. Jin's right. That's what you win. Dites-moi simplement où. D'accord. C'est parti. Bien. Nah, I only do the jumping strat in marathons and relay races. Yeah, it's like the gulag. <laughs> Memory skip investigation day. Yeah, no. Americans, we don't find strats. Let's be real. Let's be honest. We don't do strats. 
that's not our uh, that's not our whole shebang. That sounds strat finding. Strat finding just sounds like work, and I'm American, so I don't like work. So I don't like putting in effort. Or am I fat? Uh, no, I'm not fat. Like I said, I've I've been active like my whole life, and I'm really involved with sports. Mm. Leave the engineering to the Europeans, bruh. I'm an engineer though. You have a god tier metabolism? I wish I had the metabolism I had five years ago. God damn it. Why do I always do that? Probably because I'm a stupid fuck. Thirty-two thirty-eight. I feel like I'm probably like fifteen seconds behind my PB. Send a mean fax. Hey, does someone want to look at my PB video and tell me what my Courser split was? Six seconds? Oh, that's not bad. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. There's Lexington. Yeah, I I still have time to gain compared to my PB, so. Wow. Well, that made me um, panic for a second. <laughs> I don't think I can PB, honestly. That was a close one. <laughs> I sometimes don't cry in the shower. Seven seconds behind PB? Huh. Surprised that's only a one second long. Yeah, PB is possible. <laughs> no, I don't think lowering my PB will be too difficult. Just don't crash. Okay, I'll try. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum.
I think 4220 is like, I agree with that. I think that's a very good estimate of what like a perfect human run would be. I would I would have to say I agree. I did check it out. I haven't practiced it though, so I don't really want to attempt it right now. But I did check it out. I did watch the video. I don't like doing it seems really easy to do and I feel like I would most likely be able to perform it like easily right now but I don't want to risk it. You followed? Where's your praise? I don't look at my followers anymore um, during runs. Thank you for following. Yeah, I mean, the strat seems super fucking simple. But I'm not going to do it right now. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Pardon. Bien. On fait une bonne équipe. La meilleure. Et le plus nouveau a pensé mes plaies. Il m'a jeté sur son épaule et il est ressorti en tirant dans tous les sens. Ça grouille être un idiot. Portant tout le. Shut up, Jen. Est-ce que on a fait le boulot? You fuck. C'est ça. Oui. Bien vu. Uh huh. C'est un plaisir de vous rejoindre. Visite. Uh huh. Appelez-moi. Oui. Non, sans blague La vache, ça fait un bail Vous avez décroché la timbale sur ce coup. L'emplacement de notre QG est l'un... Ah, tenez. À toi de jouer, Tom. Mon... Allez. Et ma petite... Why do you shoot them? I shoot them to skip lines of dialogue. <laughs> yeah, I shoot him because he's black, you know? That's entirely why. I only shoot uh, blacks and women in this game. I wish I was joking. Like, you actually only do shoot blacks and women in this game. Kind of weird how it works out. Je me demandais si je vous reverrais un jour. Je vous avais bien dit que j'y arriverais. Désolé. Comment? C'est ça. C'est pas vos oignons. Oh, how he mumbles that. <laughs> je veux des résultats. Oh, and raiders. I mean, yeah, but I mean, raiders are dead. The only innocent civilians we shoot are blacks and women. Oh, I fucking forgot about. I mean. That's true. We do kill Kellogg. He's a robot, though, so... I don't think he really... He really... He counts as a minority. Will they shoot blacks and women to skip dialogue? How about that? So yeah, right now I'm pretty much Pardon. getting ready to build the teleporter and enter the institute. L'institut utilise un téléporteur. Ça fait comme ça. Darn cyborgs, I know. They're the fucking worst. Um, also, I'm going to drop what's called a military grade circuit board because if I don't drop it, then um, the game uses it up, but I don't want it to use it yet. Like when I build the teleporter. Good work, Tom. Heureusement que. Bah, 
Excuse me. Um, I also still need to bind my jet. I'll do that once I fast travel back here. That jet is bound. Pardon. Holy fuck. A squirrel just jumped into the window next to me. Like he slammed into it, thinking he could get inside. What the fuck? He just ran. What the fuck, squirrel? If you have to grind for scanner in Virgil's cave, grab it. Oh, that's true. I forgot that he has one. Yeah, squirrel trying to to uh, clip through the window. <laughs> oh man! I forgot to pick up the, the circuit board. Holy fuck! I have autism. Rip chance of PB. Am I right? Squirrel was a distraction, dude. Squirrel worked for Todd Howard. J'aime bien ce nom. C'est encourageant. D'accord. Je ferai de mon mieux. Tom, okay. avant Comptez sur moi. Vous y arriverez. Mon Tom. Uh -huh. La séquence de détection. Cette fréquence ne marchera qu'une fois. Um, so I'll tell you guys when I take my teleporter split and then tell me what I. I don't think I can PB, honestly. No, I definitely can't. I would split now. So four. 40 minutes even, um, probably will be like a 43, I think the best I can get is like 43.05 or something like that, plus 23, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, my record's a 42, 42.53, or are you talking about for Anthology? Anthology, it's a 141.45, we're comparing against my world record splits. So now we're gonna shoot more. Forty-two. Ah. We're gonna shoot more minorities. Ils se croient supérieurs. Ils auraient dû s'interdire. Vous aurez posé là sur le réacteur et on pourra déclencher une explosion qui ratera tout ce que. Set up another punch warp. Why is the game in Italian? Why is the game in? Spanish. Why is the game in Spanish is like the most fucking common. For those of you unaware, why is the game in Spanish is like the most common uh, comment on Fallout New Vegas speedruns. Why isn't the game an American? Yeah, if a memory skip was found, German would be faster. But we haven't been able to find a way to skip the memory sequence.
which is unfortunate. I really want to run the game in a different language. French is starting to get on my nerves. German, I would love to do German just because everyone would sound so angry all the time. This is kind of perfect because I kind of have to go to the bathroom. One, number one. I don't have to poo. I just have to pee. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Yeah. It always like I literally don't understand why people always ask why is it ran in this language? It's like it's a speed run. Like, come on, use a little bit of common sense. Like, just think it through a little bit. C'est bon. Téléportez-nous. Don't forget to wipe. I won't. Yeah, that surprises me. That took so long. So I just load warped on this door. <clears throat> load warping that door is the hardest load warp in the game. There used to be much harder ones, but we've been able to phase them out of the run. We. Oui. All Fallout 4 runners are American? Not all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Every single one is American. Not all of them are American. There was a time where the top four were American. What a time to be alive. I think that's when the world as a whole peaked when the top four runners for Fallout 4 speedrunning were American. Well, boys, this is a pretty fucking solid anthology run. A 137. That's really fucking solid. That is a really fucking solid PB. Man, I'm happy with that. I can feel it wash Yeah, thank you to everyone who watched that from the start. The heat, the force. I don't think I'm going to do any more anthology today. But if you want to stick around, I'll probably be doing just new Vegas runs. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. New Vegas runs seem pretty I want to try and grind down my new Vegas time, so. The future you plan for yourself shifts. Whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all. This, yeah, this is the new world record for anthology. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found. So, in. yeah, that was like, I mean, the, the Fallout 2 run, fantastic. Ripped apart like, that's a new PB together. in itself. Fallout 3 was okay. Okay, let's go through all the runs. Fallout 1 was okay. Family, um, make us whole again. Fallout 1 was a decent run. It wasn't great. Could have been now better, but it was still around 7 no, minutes. I can't go back. So Fallout 2 was a really good run. Changed, but the road ahead will be hard. Yeah, it is like getting sex percent. Not many people, I'm the only one who runs this right now, but there are a lot of people who saying they want to run it. And there are more people are learning multiple Fallout games, so hopefully there will be more runners soon. 
But this is a pretty solid time. Fallout 2 was good. Fallout 3 wasn't too good because of Cliff Cripple. But other than that, it was good. New Vegas was okay. It was like below average run for me, but not bad. Um, and then Fallout 4 was good. A 43-13 is like very good. But yeah. That was exciting. <laughs>